Hi, I'm Mr. Tie-Dye. Welcome to my channel. So I got one more way that I do the jack-o'-lantern. I did one where I did just the full jack-o'-lantern on the tee. But this here, I'm making the whole tee into the jack-o'-lantern. So I'm just going to tie the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and then the stem up here. So what I'm starting with is a t-shirt that's been soaked in soda ash. It's been spun out so it's barely damp. And then I have the t-shirt centered, so I have the front and the back separate. And I'm just going to tie this on the front of the t-shirt. Uh, you could try doing it on the back of the t-shirt also. I mean, just tie it all together. But that's more layers uh, to get the dye through, so I'd probably want to let it dry if I did that. Um, and that way also I might tie it off with sinew and just tie it up really tight. So... Anyway, so what I'm going to do to start with is I'm just going to tie just each one of these parts up here. So I'm going to fold up this stem here at the top of the T, right at the collar. And this here is just going to turn the whole t-shirt into a jack-o'-lantern. So once I get that tied off, then we'll move on to the face. And this is just a fun way to do a, a Halloween design by turning the whole tee into the jack-o'-lantern. So that means the whole rest of the tee I will dye in orange. Okay, so now for the eyeball, I'm going to pick that up. Fold that so that the bottom is even there and then right at the point. And you can kind of hold this up to the light. So I have a window right here and I'm just looking at that, just making sure that I have this lined up nice and even there for my eyeball or eyeballs, because this will tie up both of them. All right. Now on this one here, once again, we're going to have this tight corner that we got to go around. And the way that I like to do that is just to adjust my folds so the last bit of this run is going on the downward side there. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see that. So sometimes I might have to make a taller or a shorter pleat there but that's how I like to do it, is have that on the downward side and then I can kind of flip this one up and around and you have to kind of twist the T a little bit but I'm just folding that up and around so I can line it up right next to it. And then just work that around. And basically then that little fold is where the two lines are met up. And then I can fold this next bit up and continue with my pretty straight line there. It's not perfectly straight, but it's fairly straight, which will allow me to tie that off all at one time. Those tight corners can be a little bit tricky, but once you get the hang of them, then you can tie them just about on anything. I do a lot of tight corners on uh, the cross design, and I did them on the onk design. Both of those I have videos for. So those ones I might explain the the tight corners a little better. So if you want to check those out, just search for uh, how to tie a cross or tie-dye onk. I guess I could put a link to those down in the bottom in case you want to check those out. Mostly just for folding around the tight corners. Okay, now I'm going to fold the nose next. Oh yeah, and I always like to pull this extra fabric out here. Just making sure that you don't pull past your tie line right here. That way that 
the rest of the t-shirt lays fairly flat and then the eyeball is just there so the eyeball is going to stick up there from the rest of the t-shirt okay so now we're going to do the same thing with the nose we have that tight corner Okay, and now for the mouth. If you watch my other jack o' lantern video, what I did was I just started gathering this up and basically lining the mouth up on the front and the back here. So I'm just kind of looking with the light shining through the t shirt. And once I get down to the curve here, then that's where I have to kind of adjust the t shirt a little bit. And this here isn't going to make it perfectly straight, but since this here is a jack-o'-lantern, if he had just a little bit of a, a crooked mouth, then that's going to be better for me anyways. So, I'm going to fold that up now. With all these extra little creases in here, that is going to just help give me just kind of a, a crooked mouth here. And just making sure that I'm kind of folding the line on both sides there and you just have to kind of adjust everything as you're folding here just to get it to come out the way you want it and you can intentionally fold it back and forth like this here and then you'll have even more of that crooked mouth going on the jagged mouth like you have some jagged teeth or whatever and you could try to fold the teeth in there but the teeth are just that's a lot of corners to go around and then a very tight one up there at the top so that's why I don't try to fold the teeth in I try to just uh, go with this method here and just make some extra jagged lines in there just from the folding of it and that gives me what I, I want. If I want the, the squared off teeth, then I'll stitch those. And I have done that in the past. So, but this here will be fairly even with just a little bit of crookedness to it. So it'll be just a perfect jack-o'-lantern mouth. In my opinion, that is. You guys can determine that for yourselves later how you like it okay so there's the mouth now and I'm gonna and see it's not completely even there on the line so I'm gonna pull this out right up to the the kite string that where I have it tied off at so I'm just pulling just a little bit of it at a time here out of that fold just to make sure I'm not sucking any of the tied off stuff down in there and that way the mouth is now going to stand up and the eye is standing up and then the nose lays flat there oh and then we got the stem up here also so now we're just going to scrunch the rest of this up Here's my Jack Lantern t-shirt. So the other one was the Jack Lantern design where I just did the small Jack Lantern on it. And have this one here, the whole t-shirt is the Jack Lantern. So I'll be back soon with some gloves and some dye and we'll get this colored up. Thank you for watching. Okay, it's time to put some dye on this thing. So.
I'm going to start out by just outlining all of my parts here with black. This is a thick black dye. But you can outline with whatever you have handy. The black, the thick black dye just gives you a thinner line. So now I'm going to do the same thing here. This is one that I'm just going to kind of fold that over uh, underneath here making sure that I have something to press against so I'm just pressing right into my finger there and with these multiple layers sometimes you have to put multiple coats of the dye on to get it all the way in through all of the layers and that way you'll get even saturation going on so let's get this one done up too because that one it's a lot of thick layers there this is the mouth and I'm gonna dye that just kinda a little bit crooked there just because I wanna encourage kind of a crooked mouth going on We'll do the same thing on this back side here. Okay, and now for the nose. And then while I have this upside down, I'm going to go ahead and put my orange on. So right around eyes, nose, and mouth, I'm going to use my smaller bottle so I can control how much dye. And there's the pumpkin tea. I'm going to let this batch for 48 hours and then I'll have the results in a few seconds for you.